This week, Elon Musk shared the first picture of the SpaceX spacesuit. According to Musk, the suits have already been tested to double vacuum pressure and actually work. In his post, he says, quote, worth noting that this actually works, not a mock-up. According to his post, the design was a difficult balance between aesthetics and function. Of course, it's easy to do both separately. According to New Atlas, the fact that it has been tested to double vacuum pressure only means that the suit is designed to protect astronauts while they're in the spacecraft, not while they're outside of the vehicle. It should be noted that developing and maintaining spacesuits can be costly and frustrating work. In April, if you recall, NASA's own auditor said that the company was not only years away from having a new spacesuit for deep space missions, but the agency was running out of its current supply for astronauts on the International Space Station. So, you know, hopefully SpaceX is close and they're making enough. It could have been worse. Researchers at the Pacific Northwest National Lab have developed a new process that could soon make it easier to include magnesium alloys into structural components in your car. You see, magnesium is 75% lighter than steel, 33% lighter than aluminum, and the fourth most common element on Earth. But until now, car makers have struggled to use the materials in structural car parts without adding rare elements like dysprosium. Just off the top of my head, dysprosium. The lab's process is a new twist on extrusion, and they call it SHAPE. It uses a shear assisted processing and extrusion, or shape, machine that pushes billets and flakes of magnesium through a die by spinning the metal. Because of the linear and rotational forces, the alloys flow through the die in a very soft state, which means that only one tenth of the force is needed to push the material through a die compared to conventional extrusion. This significant reduction in force could mean much smaller production machinery and lower overall operation costs. And manufacturers may want to do it soon, as the car industry wants to use 350 pounds of magnesium per vehicle by 2020. And it looks like they just might be on their way. It could have been worse. A manufacturing company in Mumbai has been shut down after being accused of dumping industrial waste and dyes into local rivers and turning 11 dogs blue. That's right, I'm gonna wrap it up with blue dogs. You're my boy, Blue! According to a report in the Hindustan Times, locals reported chemical manufacturer Ducal Organics to the Pollution Control Board for illegally dumping dye and colorants into the air in a nearby river. The alleged dumping was made apparent when dogs that swim in the river really started turning blue. I mean, and really blue. Look at those photos. Like, it's not like a blue hue. Like, that is a blue dog. The pollution board hopes that by closing the plants, they send a message to other problematic plants. I mean, and such egregious dog dying hasn't been seen since that monster tried to dye Snoopy pink. Should be locked up, woman. Oh, that was like the most horrific thing I saw in my childhood. Just like, <laughs> I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design. Like we just might get there. And it looks like it might just be right around the corner.